Augusta Lewis Troop was a pioneering labor leader, journalist, educator, and suffragist. Devoting much of her life to fighting for better pay and working conditions for women, she founded the Women's Typographical Union of New York to protect their interests within the industry. Troop helped establish a daily newspaper in New Haven, Connecticut that became a powerful platform for her spirited advocacy on behalf of teachers and minorities, especially the Italian immigrant community, who considered her a trusted advisor and friend. Augusta Lewis was born in 1849 in New York City and was orphaned in infancy. She was brought up in the home of a wealthy Wall Street broker and was educated in private schools where she studied French, the classics, and literature, graduating with honors. When the Depression following the Civil War changed Augusta's financial situation, she went to work as a reporter for a French-language newspaper in New York City and the New York Sun. Getting interested in the newspaper business, Augusta Lewis decided to learn different facets of the business. So she learned the trade of typesetting. When she was a typesetter in New York, she discovered that men and women were paid on different wage scales and that the unionized men were paid more. And when in 1867, a group of men went out on strike, women were used to replace them and were paid at a lower rate. And then the women were fired when the men did come back to work. And this helped Augusta Lewis realize that there was something wrong, especially in terms of the payment that women received. After working with Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton to form New York's Working Women's Association, Ms. Lewis decided that women must organize their own labor unions to advocate for equal pay. In 1868, she established the Women's Typographical Union Local No. 1 of New York. It was the first trade union for women in New York City. Advertising for members in the suffragist newspaper, The Revolution, the pioneering women's union grew quickly, finding early success. The following year, Augusta Lewis, as the president of the Women's Typographical Union, traveled to the all-male International Typographical Union Conference, being held in Albany, New York, to present a petition for inclusion in the union. Facing strong opposition, she successfully won a charter for the Women's Typographical Union, the first charter ever granted by any male trade union to women working in their trade. But Augusta Lewis's groundbreaking work did not stop there. In 1870, Augusta Lewis was voted corresponding secretary of the International Typographical Union, making her the first woman to hold a major office in any international union. After one year at her national post, Augusta married well-known labor leader Alexander Troop in 1872 and relocated to New Haven, Connecticut, where they started a family and a newspaper called the New Haven Union. The daily paper gave voice to minorities, union organizations, and women's suffrage, with Ms. Troop penning many of the articles herself. After raising five children, Augusta Troop became very involved in the New Haven public school system, becoming a teacher and a member of the Board of Education. She was a champion for teachers' rights, and her work eventually led to the successful passage of important state legislation that helped provide them with retirement benefits. She helped establish the Teachers League in New Haven, and 1911 helped establish a pension for school teachers. After a lifetime of fighting for social justice issues, Augusta Lewis Troop died on September 14, 1920, and was buried in Evergreen Cemetery in New Haven, Connecticut. She lived just long enough to see the last state in the Union ratify the 19th Amendment, giving women the right to vote. To honor Augusta Lewis Troop's legacy, the city of New Haven named a school after her in 1926. There were extensive renovations to the school in 2008, which provided the perfect opportunity to rediscover and celebrate her contributions to New Haven. New Haven Central Office administrators, as well as historians from throughout New Haven, uh, wanted to preserve uh, some of the old parts of the building that exemplifies Augusta Lewis Troop. As you can see, there's the murals. As you can see, there's the, the bus, the actual plaque, and the original uh, entrance to the buildings are preserved, in part because we don't want the history to be lost. It has brought a sense of community, a sense of pride to our school. So when I knew that Augusta Lewis Shoot was a woman and she was actually such a good activist, I was like, she's a really strong lady. Especially for her to do something like uh, doing stuff for the ladies, for the women's rights, was actually frowned upon. So I thought that she was pretty strong to even face that. 
I noticed how she like pretty much went against all the stereotypes, how they're saying that uh, women weren't allowed to do this, women weren't allowed to do that. She didn't follow the rules. She just went on and did what she felt was right. Empowerment is key, education is the key to unlock all types of success. And that's what Augusta Lewis Troop exemplified. Our students are benefiting from that. It made me feel a bit more capable. And I could do a lot more than anybody would say I can't do. They say, oh, you're a girl, can't do that. I'm like, I'm a girl, I can do that.